Hello children, welcome to our science session. Let's continue chapter 10, reaching the age of adolescence. In last session, we have discussed about re, uh, this adolescent period. It involves uh, various changes in adolescence like uh, increase in height, increase in body size, change in voice box, etc. And also we have discussed in a detailed manner about reaching mental, intellectual and emotional maturity. That is, the adolescence is a, a period of change in a person's way of thinking. Adolescents are more independent than they before and are also they become self-conscious. In adolescent period, intellectual development takes place and thus they tend to spend more time in thinking. And we can tell uh, in one's life, this adolescent period uh, is a time when the brain has greater capacity for learning. But during this period, sometimes adolescents may feel insecure about the uh, uh, adjustment uh, to adjustment of uh, change in the body and mind but uh, there is no reason to feel insecure these changes are a natural uh, part of growing up then we have discussed about secondary sexual characters that is during adolescent period that is this and ovaries that is the reproductive organs of males and females start develop in girls uh, breasts begin to develop and in boys uh, growth of facial hair that is mustaches and beard, uh, beard occur and as these features help us to distinguish the male from female they are called as secondary sexual characters and so what are secondary sexual characters? At puberty, some changes occur in both males and females that distinguish from each other uh, are called as secondary sexual characters. What are the secondary sexual characters in boys? Facial hair growth, growth of hair on the chest, under the arms and pubic area. And the same way, what are the secondary sexual characters in girls? Secondary sexual characteristics are in girls are development of breast, the growth of hair under the arms and pubic area. Then we have discussed about uh, how what initiates the changes at puberty. This onset of puberty is mainly controlled by hormones. What are hormones? Hormones are the chemical substances which are secreted by endocrine glands or we can call that as endocrine system. Then we, uh, know, we know that the testes is an endocrine gland. They are present in male. They secrete male sex hormone called as testosterone, which helps in the production of sperm and also the development of secondary sexual characters in males. And the same way in girls, um, uh, the ovaries, the endocrine glands, uh, which are present in female, they secrete female sex hormone called as estrogen that helps in the production of egg or we can call that as ova and also helps in the development of secondary sexual characters in females. And now let's go more in detail about hormones, how these hormones brought changes in adolescent period. And other than this sex hormone, that is testosterone and estrogen, there are various different hormones that is, are produced by different endocrine glands which are situated at various parts of our body. And this uh, onset of puberty is mainly controlled by hormones. So hormones from pituitary gland, that is pituitary gland which controls the endocrine pituitary gland is also one of the endocrine glands which control uh, the uh, testes and ovaries to release testosterone in male and estrogen in female. And then these hormones are released in the bloodstream and reach different parts and reach the parts of the body that is where it has to reach. That is, we call that as target site. They reach and then it stimulates changes in that uh, in the body at 
the onset of puberty or children so hormones on, uh, from uh, pituitary they stimulate testes and ovaries to release testosterone in male and estrogen in female why they release directly in the blood stream because uh, the endocrine glands they do not have duct or tube to carry out secretion isn't it that is why they are called as ductless gland that is why it is directly released in in the blood stream and reach the particular part of the body that is target site and then they bring the changes in that part on the onset of puberty and uh now uh, the same way the role of uh, har hormones which initiate in the reproductive function that we have learned that the uh, endocrine glands they release hormones in the blood stream to reach that particular part what we call that as target site then ta the target site they respond to that hormones then there are various endocrine glands or ductless glands in the body that is like uh, testes and ovaries which secrete sex hormones the sex hormones are responsible for male and female secondary sexual characters and all this uh, for the sex hormones are under the control of uh, hormones from pituitary gland pituitary gland it is present in the brain or that that we are going to learn in the uh, in the session the pituitary secretes many hormones one of which it makes ova to mature in the ovaries and sperm form in the testes so the hormones from the pituitary it makes the ova to mature in the ovaries and it uh, makes uh, form uh, produce sperm in the testes so uh, what are pituitary glands the pituitary glands are present uh, in the body to control the production of hormones by endocrine glands in both males and females and the uh, role of hormones how it initiate the reproductive function the part of the body for which a particular hormone is meant is called as target site the endocrine gland they secrete hormones and uh, they release that hormones in the blood and then it reaches the target site then the target site responds accordingly so now we will learn about pituitary gland in a detail manner so pituitary gland it is located in the in brain it is also called as it is a master gland because it control the functions of other glands got that and pituitary gland secretes growth hormone and growth hormone the that is it control the development of bones and muscles and so children pituitary gland it is uh, uh, present near the brain and it uh, secretes growth hormone and it controls uh, controlled uh, development of bones and muscles see here excessive secretion of growth hormone that is if pituitary gland secrete excessive hormone growth hormone what what happens it causes gigantism very uh, de higher development more development of body which leads to gigantism and less secretion of growth hormone causes dwarfism so growth pituitary gland has to secrete exact correct quantity of enough quantity of growth hormone if it is secreted more then also it leads to gigantism it leads if it secrete less it leads to the condition called dwarfism very small sized organism dwarfism and next endocrine gland is thyroid gland thyroid gland where it is located it is located in the neck region uh, and see here you can see in the uh, figure uh, thyroid it is uh, located near the uh, neck region that is near the trachea and larynx this is the brown colored part it is thyroid gland and and what it secretes it secretes 
thyroxin the hormone called as thyroxin and what is the function of thyroxin it controls all the metabolism of carbohydrate protein and fat for children so we have uh, we have first we have learned about the and uh, hormone called testosterone male sex hormone then we have learned about estrogen female sex hormone then the master gland that is uh, pituitary gland which secretes hormone called as growth hormone now the fourth hormone what we have learned is thyroxin thyroxin is secrete is a hormone which is secreted by the endocrine gland called thyroid gland and where it is located thyroid gland is located in the neck region and what is the function Thy thyroxin controls metabolism of carbohydrate protein and fat and deficiency and if uh, thyroid uh, thyroxin if it is not um, secreted in a uh, proper amount appropriate amount then it leads to the uh, deficiency uh, disease called as goiter that is what is goiter the enlargement of thyroid gland uh, take place you can see that swelling near the neck region takes place and next we will learn about next gland it is pancreas we know that pancreas it is located below the stomach and it is it secretes a hormone called as insulin you may know uh, know that insulin insulin is a uh, hormone secreted by pancreas and insulin if it uh, secrete uh, uh, it is used to uh, lower the blood sugar level and it is also glucagon is an hormone it used to increase the blood uh, glucose level so both are increased in a co proper quantity our blood glucose level become normal and if it is insulin is not secreted in an uh, enough quantity then our blood glucose level will increase automatically because it used to lower the blood glucose level that it leads to the disease called as diabetes and so uh, children deficiency of insulin causes uh, a deficiency this disease or we can call that as disorder called as diabetes diabetes mellitus and next endocrine gland is adrenal gland adrenal gland it is uh, they are located on the top of kidney you can see here black color on the top of kidney adrenal glands are present it secretes the uh, hormone called as adrenaline that uh, what is the function of adrenaline it used to regulate heartbeat breathing rate blood pressure etc got children so we have learned about different endocrine glands which are present in our body and hormones secreted by them and what is the function of each hormone okay children so this chapter we have uh, discussed about hormones or the secretions of endocrine glands which pour them or which release uh, them directly into the blood stream because they do not have A tube or duct, and then we on the master gland, what we call that as pituitary gland. They secrete hormone called as growth hormone, uh, and this growth hormone it makes the other glands, other endocrine glands such as testes, ovaries, thyroid, and adrenal uh, uh, adrenaline to secrete hormone, and or we can tell uh, the all the other harm, uh, endocrine glands. like uh, testes ovaries thyroid adrenal etc are controlled by pituitary gland then we have learned pancreas secretes hormone called as insulin thyroid produces hormone called as thyroxin and adrenal uh, gland produces hormone called adrenaline and pancreas present below the stomach thyroid is present in the neck and adrenal gland are present on the top of the kidney and pituitary gland it is present near uh, present in the brain that is why it is a master gland it controls all the other endocrine glands okay children we'll stop our session here thank you